What's up, Sasha? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that little that little webby right there. Little webby fro, you know? Yeah, look at that, look at that type of wow. Let's do a uh relationships. Finding a mate. The etheric bodies and the soul. We're gonna cover all that. People wonder why they get into relationships and their relationships go all bad. Well, it's because you're dealing with one aspect of the soul. You're dealing with the physical part of the soul. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with uh, man, loud ass lawnmower. You think more ain't lawn though? You're dealing with the physical aspect of the soul. You know, when when the soul interfaces with the earth and the physical plane. It manifests in the form of physical bodies. You see what I'm saying? That's the physical interface between the soul and the physical world. I'm going to keep saying that word physical. So, um, what happens is that people get attracted physically only. And that's the only aspect of the soul that they're dealing with. is the physical. So, um, They ignore, or we ignore, because I'm not excluded from this group, we ignore the other aspects of the soul. There's the energy body, there's the emotional body uh, of the soul. So there's more than just the physical body. There's different levels to the soul. So when we generally meet someone, we're just only dealing with the physical part, not dealing with the emotional part, not dealing with the etheric part, um, or the energy part, you know what I mean? And this is where you get uh, your your phrase soul mates. When you have a soul mate, it's dealing with something deeper than the physical. It's de dealing with more aspects of the actual soul. Um, but you wonder why you get into a relationship and it don't work. It's because you're not compatible emotionally. You're not compatible. Um, I don't know why the camera keeps getting dark. Um, emotionally, you're not compatible uh, etherically uh, or, or, or in any type of deeper fashion other than the physical. So eventually, you will wear out your welcome physically. Not saying that the physical aspect is not important because you do need to be um, physically compatible as well. So neither one of these elements of the soul is more important than the next but you have to deal with more than just one if you want to have successful um, relationships you know this is with you know mates you know um, um, you wonder why for you fellas you wonder why you see a chick she hot she in the club she thick looking right you know what I'm saying and you wonder why when you get at her, she not feeling you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you get at all these other chicks, but the chick you want, she not feeling you. That's because you guys don't match on other aspects. You know what I'm saying? You might, you might not match physically for her, or you know, if she's in tune, you may not match emotionally for her. You know what I'm saying? No matter how fly you is, you know. Trust me, I know. I've been rejected. <laughs> I know that's hard to believe. I've been rejected though. <sighs> yeah, it's happened. You know what I'm but um, yeah. Yeah. New rebel, connect the dots.